I think we're live. Can you see me? Yeah. Hey, buddy. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. We have, looks like myself is in here. Cool. Let's wait for a couple more people to join. Sorry, buddy. At Open Slate, we help you identify and align with the best. All right, we got three people, four thumbs up. Nice. We're getting some people in here. So who's in here right now? I was going to see we have four people on, but no comments. Am I doing something? Yeah, this thing on the we need to do some software, Laura, because this software is not, YouTube Studio is not working well. Let's do a pop out chat. Cool. All right. So we have four people in. Hey, guys. So we are going on Adventure of the Seas tomorrow. And I thought I should just share my, um, what is it, my gear list of all I'm taking. There's a lot of stuff here. So I thought I should just share that because I know I'm like, when for me, I'm usually curious to see what people are shooting on and what um, people are bringing. So I thought I should just show you guys what I'm bringing. Let's see, I'm gonna wait till we hit like five views. Let's see, or five viewers. We got four, we need one more. Come on, let me just at least get five. And I wonder if a notification went out. Oops. Well, I guess four. All right, so what do you want to see first? Do you want to see like what we what I fly, or do you want to see like my shooting, what we vlog on as our vlogging camera, what type of little like little attachments we have? Like, what would you guys like to see first? Because I'm going to pack them all into my Peak Design backpack. This thing is like so amazing. So let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see. We got five people on. Nice. Okay, that's fine. Make sure you thumbs up this stream. This is our very first live stream ever. So this we're trying to figure this thing out. I hope you guys can hear me well too. Laura, can you hear me well? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, since I guess no one's commenting. Oh. There's Laura, she's she's typing in the chat. Okay, cool. Um, so we're gonna start off with like the little point and shoot cameras that we use for like little um, like little pickup shots, but, and then we're gonna start with little cameras that we're gonna pick up for, we're gonna start off with little cameras we use for pickup shots and then we're gonna work our way up to the drones. And yes, it said drones is plural. All right, so first off we have, we're, I'm packing up my GoPro, Hero Max. This is a 360 camera. It has two cameras on the side. Yeah, let me see. It has two cameras for 360. It works pretty well. Um, the stabilization is amazing on this. It's waterproof. I wouldn't recommend getting into water with this just because like, it messes up um, the sting with all the different angles and stuff. But this is, would be amazing to do some like, action shots. And that's why we're bringing it because we have this excursion we're doing on the third day, I think it is. I really want to try this out and get some cool shots. The next is my old school GoPro. I think this is a seven. GoPro Hero 7. Let me see. Yeah, this is a GoPro 7. Little point and shoot GoPro just to throw it in my bag. Something I can have um, just to pick up some shots. Maybe even have like a second camera for another point of view. The next one is the brand new bad boy that I kind of ruined. If you guys can see like the top area is kind of scuffed. And then if you look at this, these are like, my, these are my GoPro ND filters. Cause I don't leave home without any ND filters. 
And if you see this little, this is a GoPro, this is the GoPro like lens. That's like you can replace it with the ND filter. You can see this is kind of scuffed up because I put it on my drone and I crashed my drone. So I wouldn't advise putting on a drone. But anyway, I have a whole thing of GoPro ND filters to help with the smoothness of the footage, but I love this GoPro. This, this is Hero 9. I have it in the media mod because I really want to attach like a mic and all that stuff. You guys can see it. It's a little dark because I have the filter on, but it's, I love this. This is like the best GoPro I've had so far. Let's see. Oop, no. Let's go with turn it off. GoPro power off. Oh, GoPro turn off. Cool. <clears throat> the next thing I have is a little um, 90 degree mount. So this, what pretty much it does is like you hook it into here, like a selfie stick or something like that. And then you hook the GoPro into here and you can kind of get like a, like a, um, like a Instagram story, like a nine by 16, what was that? A nine by 16 shot instead of just the 16 by nine. So you can upload to Instagram stories and all that. So that's really helpful. So now let's see what's next. Um, let's go with this. Is, I just purchased this about a month or so ago. The, this is pretty much amazing. Um, I always, when we go to the main dining room or any other dark place, like we went to the Tampa Zoo in December, it was really hard to shoot with a camera because it's so dark. So I end up purchasing this aperture light which is amazing, it's super bright. I hate, I honestly hate how bright it is. I have two diffusions on here. But like I can power it on and this is the lowest it will go and I can hit this boost and it just so bright. But this is gonna be very helpful like on these the night shots or night shooting or like the main dining room and stuff like that just to get a little bit of light on here. This is what's up. Let's see. <laughs> Like, where are you going to put all this stuff? Put on top of Aries. Um, let's see. I also got this GoPro remote. I mainly got it from my, when I put it on my drone. I can, like, record, like, easily. don't have to keep forgetting to push record. I can just do it from my wrist, and I can just push this button. It's really, it's really helpful. It's waterproof. I can't wait to use that, too. Um... Let's move on to, what should we move on to next? I guess like all the little cables and stuff like that. And then we'll move on to like the bigger stuff. So I have this little bag. It comes with like two pouches and some cable, um, cable restraints, I guess you can call them, elastic. And I have a whole bunch of this cables and stuff in here just to, for all the charges and stuff. So let's see, what do we have in here right now? So in the first pouch, I have some, GoPro um, mounts and one of the screws. Well, let me get that back in. And nothing else in the other pouch. These have been a lifesaver. These are some of my favorite things I've learned about when I was on set, like um, TV shows or um, commercials and stuff like that. These are called bongo clips or bongo, bongo ties, bongo ties. Um, pretty much it looks like a bongo drum. You guys can see that. And it's a, it's an elastic band. So like when you want to like, it's mainly for cable management. So like, say if you want to like wrap this cable up, you'll go like this, put it around and then you'll just put it like the bongo through like that. If you guys can see that, you probably can't because it's black on black. Let me see if I can get a, another a white cord. Like say, okay, so I have an iPhone char, um, cable. So you take the bongo tie and you wrap it around and then you just put the bongo little piece through and it holds it. And it's like, you could use these for cameras. So like when you have, when we have like a whole bunch of mics on cameras, like lavaliers and stuff or battery cables or whatever like that on cameras, bongo ties are like the best thing in the world. Cause they just keep everything like nice and tight. And you, cause you don't want to have to like fish around through wires and stuff like that. You want to just like organize. It makes life a lot easier. The next thing is uh, we just have a whole bunch of USB cables for all these different chargers like this. Like this takes USB-A, I believe, or a micro USB and then USB-C. 
So we just have GoPro battery chargers, iPhone cable, because you never know you need that. This is the A7 III battery charger, dual battery charger, because I hate charging through the camera. More cables, more cables. Um, our vlogging camera, uh, batteries. Just It's literally just like a junk drawer, but for camera, like Sharpie too. It's just a junk drawer for like camera stuff. So if I need something, I got it. And then I found these things in the container store, which are really cool. Um, they're the Ziploc bags that are reusable. I mean, all Ziploc bags are reusable, but these ones are like, you don't really throw these away. They're not just like really like one time use. They're just really thick plastic. And I thought, thought these would be good to bring all the batteries and these are like what I need for excursions. But right now I have all my batteries in this bag just from when we travel because I can put them in and TSA won't bother me. But when we do excursions, I'll put them in here or like cables or anything. So like just in case it gets wet, we won't have to worry about that. What's up? Okay. <laughs> so let's. Oh, hey, what's up? No, I did not see that. I see you're handling the comments though. Cute cruisers. I can't wait to meet you guys. Okay, what's okay? Let's see. Next thing is my batteries. So I like to try to get a bunch of batteries. I have A73 batteries right here. I have about five of those. I have the GoPro Hero 9 batteries. I have about three of those, two of those. And just like vlogging camera batteries. Since the vlogging camera's batteries are so small, um, I got like six of these because we're going to be changing them in and out just from like daily use. So it definitely helps if you get some... Um, uh, so if you get equipment and you want to buy new equipment, it definitely helps to get a lot of batteries just, just to be safe. The next thing is my pride and joy. Like it's not really this long when you buy it. Like I bought an extra, like an extra connector piece for this, but this is a GoPro clamp where you can like clamp it to like tables or like computers or whatever. And then you can just bend it and it's pretty stiff. And you just put the GoPro on here and it, and it just holds. So I'm thinking about doing some time lapses with the GoPro, like off the, off like the balcony or something like that. And just like bend it down or like have it shoot the water on the side of the ship which would be really cool. And like, you can also take it apart. <laughs> you can also take it apart if you don't like it this length, but I like mine really, like really long just because it gives me so much like flexibility. What's up? What's up? How are you guys doing? Thank you for joining. This is our first ever live stream ever. So we're just trying to figure this thing out. <laughs> let's see what else is next what should i show them next this is uh for the all the battery chargers all the batteries for the gopro this i got a, a three bank so i don't have to worry about waiting for one battery one battery to charge so i got three of those um you know what let's move on to oh yeah let's move on to our vlogging setup this is what i'm mostly most excited about so this is our vlogging camera it is the ZV-1. This is our main workhorse. It flips out. You, everyone knows about this camera. You turn it on, great autofocus, all that stuff, right? Well, we attach this small rig cage, which is, I can't really take it off because I have it tightened down, but you can see like the outside of it. It's a small rig cage um, that actually like, really helps out with the productions of our stuff. So as everyone knows, if you have a Z1 or you heard about it, they all put the screw right here where the battery door is and you couldn't open it if you had like a tripod or anything on it. So with this small rig cage on the camera, you can actually like just eject the battery SIM card or whatever and not and still have something on like as a tripod or stuff like that. And it also, it's also amazing because Mustaches. Oh, uh, yeah. So it's this is another reason why it's really nice. So you take this. You can take this light, and you can hook this up right here to this cold shoe mount. But then you can also take, say, a microphone, and also attach it to this. 
So now we can have two things, <coughs> two things attached to this and not have to worry about it. We're just a basic camera. We'll just have this one. So it's really, really nice, really handy. If you need anything else, you can, you have all these screw holes, screw holes in it. So you can attach more things. Let's see what else. So then speaking of, all right, so that's our camera. And then we also, that's right. We also have this thing. I can't remember what it's called. Is this, oh, it's the switch pod die. It has a name right here. <laughs> so we have this switch pod. It goes on um, the ZV-1 like this. And we, uh, let's see. Let's see if I can do it. I'm doing it really awkwardly. So we have the, it goes on really easy like this. It's easy to vlog and it's very sturdy. I didn't like the gorilla pods because you're always just moving the arms and stuff. But this one is just like a, you got to stand, put it down, you got it. Has a little attachment, like ball head. So like if you want to angle it up, you can angle it up, angle it down, whatever you want to do. And the crazy thing is I got a quick release mount for this. So, because usually they, with these, so I can show you with, with how the original way it comes is if you take it, it has like one little screw metal on here. And then if you want to take it off, you have to like unscrew the whole thing and it's pain and it's very long, a very tedious process. So I found a, let's see if I can turn this back around. So I found this little quick release mount where I can just literally just pop it off and pop it back on. I didn't even know it did that. Yeah, you did, because you've taken it apart before. Oh, have I? Yeah, but that's not, like, it doesn't come with it. You have to, like, buy it separately, but it makes life so much easier. Oh, I filmed something else and I can't use a tripod, or I want to use a tripod. Easy. I love it. Good to know. Yep. <laughs> I mean, it is my job. I am a professional content creator for, in advertising. So that's like my thing. The next thing is mics. I have a Rode Micro or Video Micro mic with a dead cat on it um, for uh, for just like picking up audio. This is what they call it. They're called dead cats. Really? Yeah. The next, but I have this, also have this mic that I'm going to pack, which is amazing because when I'm vlogging and Laura's talking and then I'm talking as well, and I hate, you can't really hear the audio. We have this DD mic that has a mic on the front and a mic on the back. So whenever I'm talk, like, you can hear me talk to her and you can hear her talk too. So like, it just helps with post-production. So you don't have to like crank up her, her mic if, she, if you can't really hear her. So I love being able to record two, on two mics at once. It definitely helps a lot. It's a little more post, um, post process, but it definitely makes it, <clears throat> the quality of the vlogs a lot better. But if you don't notice it, it means it's working. Yeah, let's see. So let's go on to the big boy, the heavy lifter. What's up? Oh, thanks. The heavy lifter. This is my pride and joy. I've wanted this. Can I wanted the A7S II or three, the newest one that came out, but it took forever. So I got this camera a while ago. And this is the A7 III, amazing workhorse, full frame camera. This is what I show all like the buttery B-roll and all that with. And I am using a Tamron 20 to 75 millimeter lens because I cannot afford a Sigma right now maybe one day, but this is the workhorse. It has a little flip out screen. It just shoots amazing low light photos. And it's just the, the picture that comes out of this is amazing. So this is what we use for our B roll. And this is what we use for the vlogging. So this is, so if you see us on the ship, if you're going on the ship, you'll see us with both of these. The, my, one of my favorite parts about this is these little red little clips right here or little circles from Peak Design, which makes it so much easier to connect a camera strap. Like, it's just so easy. So you take a little little thing like this, and you just literally just push it on, and it's connected. And you don't want it on anymore, 
push it down and it's disconnected. So you don't have to worry about fiddling with like putting the strap in a loop and out of a loop and all that stuff. So it really helps for when I can't, I need to just take this camera off and like shoot something. It's game changer. So they're from Peak Design, if you guys were curious to see, because I've always seen these, but I never knew what they for. So I had to do research about it. But oh, I love these things. Yes, your... <laughs> I can't talk. Two screws on to know what GoPro we have. All right, so the GoPros that we have are, yeah, I can't really see the comments. The GoPros that we have are in this case. Our first one is the GoPro Hero 7 Black. This is one of my first GoPros. The next one is the GoPro max which is a 360 camera that i cannot wait to use on one of our excursions like i'm really planning to use this on at coco okay i cannot wait and it's also waterproof and then the, the the newest one to our family is the gopro hero 9. i have it in a media mod right now but i can definitely take it out but it looks i love this i wanted this one it was a little pricey but i'm glad i got this because this one is so much better than this one Robert just got the Hero 9 on Tuesday. Really? Oh, yeah. You made the right choice because out of all the GoPros I've had in my life, the Hero 9 is the most clutch out of all of them. Uh, let's see. They're all amazing. Though. I feel like you could get an old one GoPro and it, too and it's going to be perfect. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I did have an issue with the 7 and Laura finds it's funny. We're on a carnival ship. And I was trying to film like a POV of me going down a slide and I kept getting stuck in the slide. <laughs> and then like, I would like literally have to push myself through the slide. And this thing kept shorting out. So I couldn't really record a lot of the footage. So that's why I got the nine. So nice job on getting the nine. Also, I forgot to say, since this is our B-roll shooter, we need to have like that nice, crisp, like cinema-like footage. So I have this. It's honestly, you don't need this much. You don't need this like expensive one. Like I kind of hate that I spent so much money on it. But this is the Peter McKinnon um, ND filter. It's pretty much. It's pretty much it's this. It's just like a little film, a little lens. I put on my lens, and it helps cut down. It helps cut down the light that comes into our camera, so we can shoot at slit slower. I, I should know this. this is my profession. Yeah, I <laughs> a slower frame rate? No, a slower shutter speed. Yeah, slow, s slower shutter speed to get That's more, you know, yeah, better motion uh, <clears throat> motion blur. That's what it is. Shoot a slower sh shutter speed for more motion blur. I can't speak. But yes, the Peter McKinnon ND filter. I have ND filters for all my cameras just because of that. Okay, let's see what else. No, yeah, I'm building up for the drone because the drone is like my surprise because no one in the travel, in the cruising or travel I have seen have, that I've seen, I can't even speak right now. I'm just like so excited. No one in the like travel vloggers or anything like that have not used this to shoot content yet. So I'm really excited about this. I'll save that one for last. All right, typical tripod. We can take our Instagram uh, pictures like this, flex on the gram, you know, the typical influencer pictures. Unless someone wants to take our picture on the cruise, then let's go for it. <laughs> um, another geeky thing. I didn't have one of these and I kept losing them, but this is a Pelican case and it holds all my SD cards. So like it has, I have all my micros on this side for like GoPros and drones and stuff. And then I have all the SD ones or the bigger ones for my cameras. This is very helpful. It's like, it, it's, um, I think it's waterproof. It's shock resistant and waterproof. So that's good. I got, yeah. I would recommend getting one of these. It helps just keep everything organized. <laughs> um, when we store our footage or shoot our footage, we like to use these SD um, SanDisk hard drives. I edit off of these, amazing, so much better. Can you hand me the yellow, the orange one on the table that I usually use? The big one? Yeah. So I usually use this one. You guys can see right here, little, um, a little hint at what I do. It says flavor drops. If you want to look at flavor drops, it's from Fanta. 
I work on like brands like that. Um, but we use like these big hard drives that are just like they have a spinning disk in them and it just takes forever to do stuff. <coughs> but these um, SSDs are so much smaller, they run so much faster, and it's they're shock resistant and they're just nice just to slip into your bag. Like, like tiny iPhones. Right? Oh yeah, like iPhone minis. <laughs> Um, Andrew wants to know how much memory do the SD cards hold? Uh, let's see. The SD cards. So I have a whole bunch. I like to go high, honestly. So like I have a 32 right here, a 64, and then all these are 128s. And usually a one, 128 can last me the whole day. The A7 III has two slots in this like in this um, camera. So I can put two 128s in here and be Gucci. Like I shot weddings with two 128s and still didn't fill them up. I also have another 128 in here. So that's what I'm saying. Like it's, I just usually go for like either 64 or 128 golds and I'm good. Oh, and they get dinner so they can't hear us, but JJ Poop just stopped by for a second. Okay. <laughs> nice. Hey guys, can yeah, we just, can't hear us, I can't, green tea shots on Saturday. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, and then these, these minis are like, this is like a 64 one, but I had the other ones in a drone. Fun fact, I was on a shoot for Coke and then we went out to London and it was for their, I think it's for their Super Bowl commercial, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was the one with like Jonah Hill and Martin Scorsese and stuff. Anyway, I went to a camera shop and I needed an SD card. And I got a 128. This thing cost $200. This little SD card cost $200 while the SanDisk one, that's the same, the same memory cost me like 60 bucks i don't know why this one was special if anyone knows let me know because this 128 cost me two well not cost me cost the company 200 dollars, but it wasn't my money so it's just something that small can cost so much money. like a diamond ring yeah <laughs> i don't get it jewelry's weird um but yeah these are the sand these are the sand discs um, SD, the, I, these are life changer. I didn't know they were that good, but I love to edit off of these because they're just so fast. We can do all the after effects I want and not have to worry about stuff like this. Like Lacey's were the, 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 the peak, but these, these SSDs hundred percent recommend it. Uh, let's see, we got some, obviously got a, a dongle SD cards three um, HDMI, all that stuff. Because in the new Macs, you, they don't have any US, um, USB A's, so we need a dongle. <clears throat> Allen wrenches, just because sometimes I have like, I work with gimbals, so I need some Allen wrenches on the side to like tighten things down. Um, let's see, I guess. And then also here's some more GoPro attachments. I can't wait to use this mouth mount for some more first person view, but. We'll see. Okay, let's move on to the, the what? Is this the finale? No, it's not. This is the this is yeah. This is the this is the martini shot. Oh. This is not the finale. Then the finale is coming up next. Okay, so this is I have I've had this for a while. This is the Mavic Two Pro. I didn't want the zoom because I didn't think it was worth it, but I also have some. ND filters on this one, and I have some more ND filters for this right here. But this is my this was my pride and joy for a very long time. It's a great drone. It's small, compact, cool. It shoots amazing footage. Shoots amazing stills. You've seen it on like every YouTube video because once you get a drone, you have to throw it in. And he only got it confiscated from the FBI one time. Well, I wasn't going to tell him that. And it, this wasn't the one I got confiscated. I got my oh, Mavic. Okay. Yeah, I got my original Mavic drone confiscated for a year from the FBI. But if you guys want to hear that story, I can tell it to you at a later time. <laughs> All right. Mavic 2 Pro, controller, ND filters. Obviously, need more batteries fully charged because we're traveling tomorrow. Extra propellers because. I usually don't crash that, but just in case, like if something happens in the bag. Um, and then also, here's a GoPro stick that this just gonna, this extends. All right, so this is let me push all this stuff to the side. So this is my pride and joy. I'm really excited about this. 
I can't wait to use it. I've crashed it three or four times. I might have ran into a building. Um, Lord, it makes me more nervous, but I'm really excited about this. In this case, cover it in all these vine stickers. Uh, look at all his chickens. Hi, welcome to Chili's. Um, Chris Jenner. Oh, no, I think it's Chris Jenner. I don't know. But anyway, th in this case, I can't wait to fly it. So I have this lock on here. Let me take this off. And so I just got this recently. If you guys can, what? I know it's so scratched up. But if you guys have seen, I'm going to be shooting with, I have, I'm going to bring this drone. But I'm also going to bring this drone. And it causes me to wear goggles so I can, um, so I can fly. Um, this is that DJI FPV drone. I love it. It's so much fun to fly. I'm still learning how to use the controller properly. Um, it's kind of, I've gotten a lot better at it than I, when I first got it, but it's still a little tricky. Um, but let me take the drone out to show you guys. Ugh. So this is the FPV drone. This is the DJI FPV drone. You guys can see right here. I crashed it and got some road rash on it real quick. But this thing goes like, I think the top speed is like 80 miles an hour, while this one only goes 40 miles an hour. So, And then also can like weave in and out of buildings and stuff like that. I have a couple of videos on my Instagram or our YouTube channel of like just doing, just flying it around. But I'm really excited to bring this to the Bahamas just to like get some like really nice coastal close-up shots or like flying in on Coco Cay. It's, it's so intense. It is. It's so. I love it. Like I can't. I have to have someone else with me because I'm like literally in the goggles and I can't see anything around me. But this thing, I hate that it doesn't fold down. But this thing is like <clears throat> so amazing. Andrew wants to know: Do you have to get that cruise line permission to use a drone during the cruise? Um. For yes and no. Um. For this particular cruise, we did get permission from Royal. To fly a drone on Coco K, like I've flown my drone. Honestly, I've flown it on Co at Coco K without any permission. I just went off to like some far away area. Yeah, and that was before it was really built out, and it was just more like barren. Exactly. It's one of the first videos I've ever shot. I mean, like filmed. But like when I would recommend, let's see, I recommend getting one of these. It's just like a weighted landing pad for your drone. Um, if you shoot on the sand and stuff like that, because you don't want to suck up any sand into the air filters. But yeah, um, for other ports, I wouldn't like it's fine to fly drones. I feel like, but for like Coco K and stuff like that, you don't want to fly it. You don't want to. I don't know. They'll just, they'll confiscate it until like the end of the cruise. But I did get permission. I would recommend it, but I did get permission, and I do have like. My part, my part 107 license. I do, and I did get authorization from the Bahama, Bahami, Bahamian, I think it's Bahamian government to fly um, this drone around. But I'm really excited. I can't wait to show you guys the shots that I get from this because it's going to be so epic. And no one else does this in the travel industry. Like maybe, maybe one or two but like no one does it. If you want to see the type of footage that you can shoot with this, I recommend looking up like Johnny FPV or even Cold. Like he shoots with FPV drones. It's so sick. It's like the next level of travel vlogs. What's up? Uh, I thought you were going to say something. And it comes with this awesome, like instead of using this, this controller, like a traditional drone, I'm going to use this joystick. And all I have to do is pull the trigger and turn it. And that's where the drone goes. It's, ah, uh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait to show you guys the footage. It's going to be so sick. But as, as always, I have a pack of ND filters that go on the drone. So the footage will be butter. And then I also have my drone license, just in case someone wants to run up on me and wants to check me. And I can, yeah. Cool. What's up? Nothing. Oh. Uh, Oh, I thought you had like another question, yeah, but yeah, that's pretty much what we all we're all taking, what we're taking to um, Adventure of the Seas. An entire suitcase of equipment plus that thing. Yeah, and the thing is, I we bought it. We went on to Atlantis with 
our gear before and I bought a gimbal. I bought a Ronin and it sucked to carry around. I hate carrying around gimbals. So having this camera with the buttery smooth footage and you just get used to like the slow move, like slow motion and doing things so much better. I mean, the gimbals, I like using gimbals when I have like fast paced shoots, but when it comes to vlogging too much, it's, too, it's overkill. It's, it's such overkill. But if you guys have any, any um, gear questions, I'm like a really big gearhead, and I like know a lot. So I guess my, as I said, it's my job to learn and figure out new things and stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah. So I think my favorite, my top favorite things would be the switch pod attached with the quick release mount so I can just pop the camera off off and on like that. Um, <clears throat> obviously the FPV drone with the goggles, the DJI Mavic, and this GoPro Hero 9. Like the 360 is cool, but this GoPro Hero 9 is, is clutch. But also these glasses, like you guys saw them in the last vlog. But I love, look at these glasses. They're so, I look like a baseball player, to be honest with you. I but think that's gear, though. It's my gear. Okay. But yeah, guys, if you have any questions about, like, what type of gear or, like, if you have any tips for me, let me know because I'm all, I got to love talking about gear. I do. But yeah. Do you have anything else to add? Let's just in today. Yeah. We're leaving for Nassau tomorrow. Tomorrow after early afternoon, and we get in, and then the next day we get on the board. It's surreal. I can't believe it. Yeah, I yeah. If you guys, I, I'm so glad you guys are here. I'm glad some. I know some of you guys are coming with. You guys are gonna be on board that are in this chat, which is awesome. But it's gonna be dope. Thank you guys so much for joining our very first live stream. I know. Well, family thing, but. We'll eventually get better at this we just want i just wanted to show you the gear because i like seeing other people's gear so this is all the gear we're going to pack if you have any other questions let me know hit them up hit me yeah, hit us up i guess yeah. on instagram or whatever our stuff's always in the description but anyway guys thank you so much for joining and we'll see you in nassau all right bye